This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a direct drive washing machine. This is called a Series 70, Series 80, or Series 90. Uh, made by Whirlpool. It might have a Kenmore badge on it, but it's not spinning, it's not agitating, so it's probably the motor coupler. We're going to be removing these two Phillips head screws from the back of the console. That'll allow us to tilt the console forward. So just two screws here on the back. Sometimes um, your machine won't spin, but when it's supposed to spin, you won't hear anything, and that's due to a faulty lid switch. When the motor coupler is defective, you can hear a clicking noise or a motor noise, but it won't spin and it won't agitate. And that's because the motor is no longer coupled to the transmission. And it's a pretty inexpensive part and actually pretty easy to replace. It's called a motor coupler. It consists of two plastic pieces and a rubber piece. And uh, again, pretty, pretty easy to put in. So we're just going to be removing these two Phillips head screws from the back. And we're going to pull the console toward us slightly and then tilt it back. It'll hinge back and that opens up the things we need to get to. We're going to disconnect this is the lid switch modular connector and we're going to knock off these two brass clips by prying the front of it with a standard head screwdriver and then it'll just snap loose. Pretty cool. Then you pull it out. Other side you pry the front of it and it snaps loose and now you can grab the whole cabinet and tilt it towards you about 45 degrees and you can pull it free and it gives you access to a lot of the parts of the washing machine. It's pretty cool. The whole thing just comes right off as one unit. This is one of the best washing machines you can ever get, this Whirlpool Direct Drive. So to get to these parts, to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to pull the machine away from the wall by about two and a half feet and then lean it back against the wall to about 45 degrees. I've got it unplugged. Make sure you get it supported so it won't fall on you. And now what I need to do is remove the motor. To do that, I have to get the water pump off first. So I'm going to use a standard head screwdriver to pry off these two little clips. Really neat design. So you're just going to push in and then push that clip back. You can twist it off. Do it on the same on the bottom one. And that comes right off super fast, super easy. We're going to take the modular connector off of the motor. This is the one that brings power to the motor. Kind of wiggle that off. And on this model there's also one more wire spade connector that we have to remove. That's for the neutral wire. It'll be a white wire. Pull this little white wire off. And then we're going to pull off two more clips that are holding on the motor. Do the bottom one first. We're going to just put a standard head screwdriver in there and pry that bottom one off. We'll do the top one. And then the motor will come right off. It's a bit heavy, so you might want to hold it with two hands and kind of wiggle it towards you. There we go. And that's going to expose the motor coupler and I can see already that the little fingers, plastic fingers on the plastic piece that connects to the transmission have broken so we're going to pry off the broken piece and then put on the new motor coupler. This usually happens because people try to wash something too heavy like a bunch of blankets or uh, too many clothes smashed into it or bathroom mats, something really heavy and the motor tries to turn the transmission, but the transmission is just kind of stuck because there's too much weight. And then something has to give, and rather than the motor burning up, it breaks the motor coupler. So here's the new one. Here's the part number. Get these at 
Amazon.com. Uh, reliable Parts, good, it's a good source, ReliableParts.net. So we have to put um, one plastic piece on the transmission shaft and one on the motor. Put the one on the transmission first. I have to kind of tap this thing down on there, so I'm going to use a socket and an extension. Just tap it lightly with my small hammer. I want to get this on that transmission shaft. Then I'll do the same thing with the motor. So one side of the shaft goes to the water pump, the other side goes to the <coughs> transmission or to the motor coupler. So I'll put it on and then I'll tap it into position too with that socket. It's probably take you 20 minutes to do this whole thing and you'll be done. And I think the part's like 15 bucks. Pretty cheap. So the rubber piece kind of absorbs some of the shock. It flexes to take up the inertia. Yeah, the other one just broke off all, all three of the fingers. That's, that was pretty bad. So that means it won't agitate, it won't spin. The motor is moving, but it does nothing to the transmission. It's no longer connected. Okay, now we're going to orientate the motor in the right direction. So we have the electrical connector pointing to the right. We're going to get the forks of the transmission where one of the prongs is in the 6 o'clock position, and then the other side will get the one of the prongs in the 12 o'clock position so they can mate together. And I'm going to pull the water pump out of the way and just take my time here. This is the only, the only hard part is to kind of line up that the fingers of the motor shaft plastic piece to fit into that rubber piece. And once it's in, you can feel it. It'll it'll sit all the way down. And then I'm going to put in this top clip. I'm going to turn it into the back plate first, and then I'll push down really hard, and it'll click in. Some of these all some of these models also have a few screws that hold in that clip, but you don't really need them. This one doesn't even have the screws. I'm going to push in this bottom one. I'm going to push in and click. There we go. Put the motor connector back on and that little white wire back on. There's only two parts of this washing machine that are kind of not great that do break. One is this motor coupler and one is the lid switch. Beyond that it's an awesome machine. We had one at home that lasted 22 years use it all the time. So now we're going to put the water pump back on. I'm going to move the uh, part that connects to the shaft around until it lines up. The shaft is uh, shaped a certain way so it'll fit into the water pump. Push it all the way in and I'm going to put in the little clips that hold it. I'm going to twist, twist them into the plate and then push them down onto the water pump. Very rewarding machine to work with, very fun and simple. Not many fasteners at all. Get that one on. We're gonna just gently lower this machine back down and we'll put the cabinet back on. So I'm going to bring the cabinet in at an angle. I'm going to put the bottom of it in against the frame. Then I'll bring it in toward the back plate of the washing machine. Line it up. Put my modular connector back on for the lid switch. And then I'll put those brass pieces back in to, to hold it all together. I'll push down till it clicks. There we go. Here's the here's the right one. 
get it lined up and I push it down real hard with my palm until it clicks. There we go. Modular connectors on. All right, cool. I'll bring down the console, lock these little dog ears into position. I'll put in those two Phillips head screws on the back. Now when the motor spins, it'll spin the transmission and that will give me proper spin and also agitation. So you'll see sometimes this will be say KitchenAid or Kirkland, there's all kinds of different uh, names, Kenmore, but they're all really made by Whirlpool and it's one of their best designs called the Direct Drive Series 70, Series 80, or Series 90. You can buy these used for about $250. So we got everything put back together. We're gonna to plug it in and just test it out. I'll push it back into position. Set it for spin, and there we go. Still in there, I'm sure if I went and spent a lot of time. Back to normal. Yay. Cool. <laughs> I'll try agitation too, just to make sure. But everything worked great. Hope this has been helpful to you, and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.